Hey guys, so I'm here to show you a little bit of a comparison between my two little preemie boys now. So on this side we have little Noah and he is an Angela Lewis sculpted doll uh, and he's in Eco 20 and over here we have uh, little early bird which I haven't named yet um, also in eco 20 um, and I wanted to just do a little bit of comparison um, between the two and my thoughts on sculpting and artistry and things and and um, whatnot um, so for those of you who don't know I work in an industry where I do have contact with newborns and, and preterm um, neonates so I am familiar with what proportions look like um, sizing things like that um, you're mainly proportions really of what a typical neonate or preterm neonate would look like so I'll go through some of the details. Obviously you can see that they're actually quite similar. Early bird is a little bit smaller. So early bird has skinnier limbs and a shorter body and a smaller head. Um, I haven't weighed them, but I can tell you that Noah is heavier. Um, he, I think is four pound two. And he, when I pick him up, he is certainly heavier. He's got a, a bigger body compared to little early bird. And they are wearing different size clothing as well. So this is an up to five pound. It's a little baggy. And this is an up to three pound, which is quite firm. I don't think I can get it to, maybe if I pull it firmly, I can get it all the way over. Yeah, there we go. Um, so Angela had said that early bird takes up to three pound clothing. So I did buy a few items. They are a snug fit. So I think early bird will also be able to fit up to five pound in certain makes. Um, so early bird is unpainted. Little Noah here is painted. However, I've had him quite a number of years now. Um, so he will be coming up to have his paint redone. Um, and the other thing as well is Angela's not the best painter in the industry, but her dolls are what I would call an accessible price point. I bought an Angela Lewis as my first silicon doll and that was Oliver because it, it was accessible. Um, so her kits are an accessible price and this is a beautiful kit, early bird. Um, but there are flaws in what Angela does and you'll find for the most part as you go higher up the price spectrum for silicon dolls you will get more realism you will get better painting you'll get painting that, that won't rub off um, now I'm not saying that's for everyone I'm not let me try that again I'm not saying that that is the case with every artist I think there are some dolls out there that are grossly overpriced for what you are getting I'm seeing a lot of people so I'm on a bit of a rant now. I'm seeing a lot of people very new to the sculpting, moulding, pouring market who are putting dolls up which are a straightforward, sometimes preemie size, super soft doll for just shy of what you could get, what I call a base model Claire Taylor baby made by Claire Taylor in a newborn size like to me there isn't a comparison I'm a Claire Taylor lover and there is no comparison for me between the likes of Claire Taylor and other artists on the market so it does astound me that other people are kind of jumping on that price bandwagon um, I think there was one person I commented on doll fan because I was just shocked at the price she listed her secondhand doll for um, it wasn't a Romy it wasn't a Claire and I was like, oh, I, I genuinely commented, I can't believe the price of that doll. It's a secondhand doll, and you're asking what? Anyway, back to my point before this video ends up half an hour long. 
Um, I just want to show you. So early bird is limbs. So head, arms, hands by Tina Kiwi. Body by Angela Lewis. Angela and John have produced the kits. So first thing you'll... Whereas Noah is completely sculpted by Angela and produced by Angela and John. So the first thing you'll notice is the feet. Um, I'm not a fan of Angela Lewis's feet. They are unproportional. Um, I love her hands, hate the feet. Um, so little early bird here has a really proportional sized foot. It's the appropriate length. So it's a little bit long, a little bit skinny. That is what it should look like with proportionate little toes and a nice little ankle. That is really accurate. This this here is not. Um, I can't really zoom in on this the way I've got it mounted on my stand, unfortunately. But you guys can kind of get the picture. Um, and the other thing that I noticed with Angela's um, dolls, while I love the hands, um, the arms are usually out of proportion as well. Both Noah and Oliver that I've had um, have unproportional arm lengths. So the top half of the arm is unproportional to the rest of it. So it's a really short top part of the arm, really long. Second part, my anatomy is escaping me at the moment. Um, whereas little early bird, it's all really quite proportionate. I really do like that. And the hands are, are, are really quite similar. So as I said, I've loved Angela's hands. Um, you can see that they're both similar, similar in size. Obviously early bird's a smaller sculpt, so you'd expect the hand to be a little bit smaller. But I'm quite surprised at how similar Tina Kiwi and Angela's hands are. Are. Um, now I'm going to slide them down so you can see the differences in their head. There you go boys, you can hold each other's hand. Um, so Noah's head is certainly larger so it's got the elongated shape. I'm going to put your little passy out man. Whereas early bird certainly has a smaller head um, and he really holds on to his pacifier I need to open up the rest of his mouth because I've struggled to get this in here um, and because he has a drink and wet system I'm finding he has a little bit of a vacuum um, so he actually holds on to the pacifiers with the vacuum so you can see that their head sizes are different um, but once again if you have a look at the ears sculpting the ears of the Kiwi are nice and proportionate it should sit between about the eye socket and the mouth whereas Angela Lewis's ears another thing I've never been a fan of are the ears um, they're just unproportionate to the size of the head um, the only thing that I love about Noah proportionally is I'm, and I'm not going to strip him down um, is this the length of his body is actually proportionate to the rest of him um, whereas early bird's body is a little bit long and once again it's a case of Angela has sculpted early bird's body Tina has sculpted the limbs so this isn't isn't me having a go at Angela or anything I love her work that's why I buy her work um, but there are little bits and things and intricacies that do make them different or make them not as realistic as high-end dolls as I've kind of already um, stated. But there you go, guys. You can kind of see the size comparison between the two. At some stage, um, I will get the scales and weigh early bird. Um, I feel like early bird will come in... Like £3.10, maybe? Maybe £3.11 thereabouts um, and you can also see that the kits were sculpted quite differently as well um, Noah's legs kind of just flop about um, early bird has a higher set kind of body in the legs up so I actually do like how the little feet can sit like that and the arms are designed that they they do turn out I think I've lubricated the mouth now so the thumb's not probably gonna stay but he can suck his thumb. Oh, it's going to kind of stay. If I didn't have it all lubricated up um, 
with personal lubricant to get the pacifier in there. The, the thumb would have stayed. I can do it with the other thumb too. Having said that, Noah can suck his thumb as well. I think his mouth's full of powder. It's probably not going to stay. Oh, yeah. There we go. They're both gorgeous, aren't they? So that's just my comparison between the two. Um, just to show you the different sizes and the different sculpting styles. Um, I'm happy with both of them. They are really cute little um, preemie babies. Um, and ones that really are within... Ones that are within my price uh, range. I think that's the thing that um, is a big determining factor for me. Um, what, what I can afford... Um, so I love my little preemie dolls, always have, always will, I believe. Um, so I have to look at what I can afford. I would love a no, an, is it Nomi? I think it's, I can't remember, it's a Naomi or an, I think it's Nomi. Um, preemie, but I can't justify the price tag of them. I just, I just wouldn't be able to afford it or justify it or anything like that at this stage. Um, you know, I've got other things in life that I need to be um, using my money on, like rent and food and electricity, etc. Um, well, there's my little ramble and my show off or my comparison of my two little dolly wallies. Um, and as I said in my last video, if you haven't seen it, um, little early bird will go on the painting table soon. Um, I've got one doll to finish up, almost done. Um, I've got the nails and a bit of matting to finish. And I'm going to be selling that particular doll. Um, and then I'll start on, on early bird. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, super thrilled you could come and take the time to have a look at my two gorgeous boys Let's see if I can do this so you can see brighter than both one oh be nice they're not quite used to each other yet there we go so little Noah and little early bird there we go together well thanks for watching guys and listening to my ranting um, and have a lovely day.